Kanbanwa everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Learn Japanese to Survive Katakana War. Um, anyone that bothered to watch my previous series, which was on Hiragana, uh, this is the, apparently the second game of the series, though I don't think they're... Uh, I don't think they're following any, any sort of storyline, but I'm not entirely certain. Um, for those who watched to the end of the last, uh, the last series, I did mention I'll probably be doing both Katakana and uh, Kanji. Um, I'll probably be alternating. Um, as for my previous experience with the Katakana, I've done only about two columns. <laughs> I've done the A uh, E, uh, the the initial letter, and then I've done the um, the K series, and I haven't really done too much reviewing of it. So Katakana, I am actually very very inexperienced with. Um, when I did Hiragana, I didn't start the series until I had done every single letter um, that was available. This one I am doing far less, um, partially because I've been just very, very busy. Um, I've, I have um, the recommendation on the website about learning Japanese was to uh, go into kanji, and uh, they introduced a website called Wanakani, and I've been doing that, which is pretty much daily now, uh, where it's constantly giving me like quizzes and reviews and stuff, and and more and more and more lessons as I progress. Um, supposedly there are 60 levels in Wanakani. Um, and I'm right now level two, <laughs> so, um, and it's uh, already melting my brain. So we'll see how how this goes. Uh, the series probably will go low, uh, slower than the last one, and I'm not going to be using any cheat sheets. So we'll uh, see how this goes. New game. Greetings, traveler. You seem lost. Please plant your feet on solid ground. There. Isn't that much better? The path ahead of you is empty, much like your future. It can, be, can only be shaped by your own hands. In order to discover where you need to go, we need to discuss where you have been. Take a moment of time to breathe. Now, listen carefully to my voice. Can you hear me well? Then tell me about yourself. Apparently you can pick a gender. Technically I'm a boy, but I'm gonna pick girl. Very good. Next. What is your greatest strength? I think this will probably affect starting stats. Well, I'm graceful and calm like a crane. Your strength will help in, in the trials ahead. Use your talents to your advantage. In this world, you are known by a name. Will you share it with me? Alright, enter your name on the following screen. Use the backspace key to delete characters or click OK when you are finished. Let's. <laughs> Ash, OK. So. How do you. Backspace? <laughs> OK, escape. Let's name you. double pressing for some reason. Yeah, it is double pressing for some reason. <laughs> Not sure why. Sine. Very well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Sine. You have shared much information with me. I want to see if I remember you correctly. Are you happy with your choices so far? Sine, girl, serene crane. Uh, yes, continue. By, by taking time to reflect, you have begun to shape the future ahead of you. There are great things in your future, but there are also many hardships you must overcome. Will you tackle these cha challenges with bravery, or will you retreat in fear? It is time to go forth. Your bright future awaits. Chapter 1. Welcome to Osaka, Japan. And I believe the symbols below that is indeed katakana. One soda, please. Oh my god, there are voices. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright. I think the audio is good enough that you guys will be able to hear it. If not, I'll be sure to adjust it for the next videos. 
Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, Ari Gato? Ari Gato. Is that right? Oh god, it's like me. Is this what I sound like? Sorry, I don't speak Japanese. But thanks for the drink! Hello there. Um, Konichi wa Please forgive me. I've yet to learn Japanese. I'd love a cup of coffee, though. Oh, yo! Hi there. I take it you're not from around here. Spot on! My first time to Japan. What about you? My first time, too. I don't speak the language at all. I just tried to order a coffee and failed miserably. Bummer. I can't speak it either. But I somehow managed to score a soda. At least I think it's a soda. There's some seriously funny writing on the can. <laughs> Will you risk drinking it? Might as well. Here goes. Ugh, it wasn't soda. It tastes like corn soup. Instant KO. Oh, gosh! You poor thing. Are you okay? Yep, all good. Nothing keeps Owen down. <laughs> what a champion. Owen, huh? My name's Tia. Pleasure. Good to meet you, Tia. Your accent. You from the USA? You got it. Where are you from? Me? <laughs> Australia, mate. Wow. You've come all the way from Australia? What brings you to Japan? I mean, I mean, she went on a longer trip. I mean, the United States is much farther from Japan than Australia is to Japan, I think. Well, I flew over for a surfing competition. I was supposed to fly to Okinawa. Beautiful beaches and waves. But I, uh, I got a bit confused and booked my flight to Osaka, not Okinawa. By the time I realized I was in the wrong place, <sighs> the comp was over. So I figured I'd just chill for a while, see the sights and whatnot. Oh, man. I can't believe you missed your competition. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Ah, uh, what can you do? I'll just make the most of the time I can spend here. Tia, so, yeah, what brings you here? I'm here to play tennis. I've joined a prestigious tennis club here. Super excited they accepted me. Whoa, that's great! Good on you! Thank you! I know I should have learned some Japanese before traveling here, but I didn't have much time. I think some of the members speak English, though. Ah, you'll be alright. You can communicate with your tennis talent. <laughs> exactly! Hello there. I'm sorry for interrupting, but I overheard you two talking about being new to Japan. I, um, I'm also new here, and, well, I don't know anybody at all. Plus, I can't speak Japanese. Anyway, I'm Charlotte. It's nice to meet you. Yo, Charlotte! Don't be so shy. I'm Owen. And I'm Tia. It's good to meet you. Oh, thank goodness. You're both so friendly. I was so nervous about approaching you. Aw, don't be nervous. We're not so scary. Charlotte, when did you come to Japan? I just got here today. I checked into my hotel and came here after wandering around town. I, I'm visiting from France. I'm a poet, you see, and I, uh, I needed some inspiration for my work. So, I thought I'd visit this beautiful country. This introduction feels much longer. Whoa, ho, ho, hold up! You're a poet? Can you hit us with some rhymes? 
Uh, no. Oh, sorry. I, I get nervous. I, I don't like being put on the spot like that. Maybe, maybe some other time? Hey, sorry there. Didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. Chill. There's no pressure. Don't sweat it, Charlotte. We're both really glad to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you both. I drank corn soup before. I nearly died. <laughs> oh dear. That's why I'm gonna how I'm going to introduce myself from now on. Alright, no voice acting for the main character. What a cute little bookstore. Now, where can I find a book on learning to speak Japanese? Oh, this one looks good. Studying Japanese, become a real samurai hero. Hmm, this one looks good too. Learn Japanese to survive, hiragana battle. What a weird title. I get it. Oh, another one. This squid learned Japanese in 10 days. You won't believe how he did it. What is on that table? All those ta tables have, like, plates with, like, apples on it. Nah, too weird. Ah, the RPG Maker explosion sound. What was that? Is everybody okay? Something has happened down the street. We need to evacuate this area immediately. At least the, the voice audio is a lot better than it was in the previous game. The previous game is practically inaudible. Come on, there's no time to waste. Okay. That's me. Use arrow keys on your on Okay. Put, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around. Go up, down, left, and right. Hold shift to run at high speeds. Uh, I have it set so it auto runs. Or click your mouse on the location you wish to move to. You'll move over there in a jiffy. Talk to other characters with the enter key, or you can click on them. Okay, so WASD does not work. So I need to set my hands like this. Alright. Hey, let's talk to you first. The shopkeeper is frozen in fear. Hello! Okay, I only said hello. Do you speak Japanese? No, sorry. Just English. Not a problem. My English is pretty good, wouldn't you say? Er, but now's not the time. We need to get out of here. There was a huge explosion further down the street. I don't know what caused it, but we should get to safety. Okay, lead the way. Alright. What the heck are they? Oh boy. Okay, so it's just like initial voice generic line. Oh boy. What do we have here? Hmm. One, two, three. There's five people here, including me. Not good. Hey, you there, from the bookstore. Me? Yeah, you. Can you get those three people away from this area? Er. I'll do my best. Thanks, I'll take care of this. Heh, <laughs> I don't know what you are, but I have a theory on how to defeat you. Let's see if I'm right. I believe those are letter A's, so ah. Uh. And looks like in the top right we have an active time system? <laughs> Or, or at least a, a turn order. These monsters look uh, like Japanese letters. Intriguing. They're the same shape as a particular letter in the katakana al alphabet. Let's see if I can beat them. Oh wow, it actually makes the sound. Aha, I knew it! By calling the names of the Japanese letters, I can defeat these creatures. Take this! 
Also, it looks like it shows the symbol as you are attacking, which is actually kind of helpful. Defeated all the foes. Piece of cake. Is everybody okay? Yeah, I think we're all good. Yo, sup? Yo, man, what the heck was up? What was that all about? You just came along and issued a beatdown. What's the deal? I can't believe it. It was impressive, that's for sure. Just what were those things? Um... Er, I honestly don't know, but I figured out their weakness. They were shaped like katakana letters. Katakana is one of the writing systems used in Japanese. I just called out the name of the letter they represented. Bam, enemy destroyed. Hmm, looks as though there are, there's more of them further down the street. Are we in danger? Oh no. Well, we're not in danger yet. Let's head somewhere safe and I'll assess the situation. My name's Daisuke. By the way, my name is Daisuke. I'm, I'm from this city, Osaka. Are you impressed by my English? Ah, uh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Um... Heh, <laughs> your English is great, Daisu uh, Daisuke. I think it's Daisuke, but that's alright. Jolly good. Jolly good. Very, very well, then follow me and I'll get you to safety. safety. The mix of verbal audio and text alone is actually a bit throwing throwing me off. A classroom. Gather round. Thank you all for staying close. As you saw on my way here, the city is no longer safe. It seems the creatures have overrun most of Osaka. I'll be safe here for a time, but keep alert. I brought you here because it's where I always feel safe. This is my classroom. I'm a teacher. First question is, how did this place get overrun when everyone can, you know, everyone speaks Japanese almost? Eesh. A teacher? Uh-oh. Surprise quiz, everyone. Owen. Owen. Now isn't the time to be joking around. Didn't you see how the city is under attack? Uh, uh my bad. She's right. Unfortunately, the city has all uh, been all but overrun. You saw those creatures, those monsters that look like Japanese letters. They specifically look like katakana, one of the three types of written characters used in Japanese. But the reason they have invaded the city is unclear to me. All I know is there were a lot of them approaching us. We saw a lot of destruction on the way here. It was truly ho horrible. Why would they attack the city? Um... I don't know. Yet. Yet? I'm determined to find out. This city is my home, my life. I won't let a horde of monsters take it over for themselves. You managed to fight off two of them early on. Are they easy to fight? Well, in a sense, you can defeat them by calling their name, the Japanese letters they represent. You would need a good, under good understanding of the Japanese language to even land a hit on them. Ah, I see. Do any of you travelers speak Japanese? Nope. Sorry. Can't speak it at all. Uh... Nah. No, sorry. I see. Hmm, I see. If only you could speak Japanese, together we could fight off the katakana monsters and return the city to safety. Hang on a second, didn't you say you were a teacher? What do you teach? Er, eh, well, I teach English, of course. You can't tell from my accurate pronunciation and excellent usage of adjectives. Um, uh, well, that's great, but since you speak Japanese, perhaps you could teach us? Yes. Whoa, great idea. Why didn't I think of that? If I teach you enough Japanese, together we could fight and reclaim the city from the katakana monsters. Well, at the moment we can't even get out of the city safely. Safe, uh, excuse me, we can't ke can't even get out of the safety, uh, city safely. We don't have a great deal of choice here. Instead of sitting and waiting for a rescue, I'm up for learning as much as possible. It's settled then. I will teach you all how to read and write katakana, in the Japanese writing system. With this knowledge, you will be able to fight off the monstrous invaders. Come on, there's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. Everybody, take a seat, and we'll begin with the first lesson. Yes, I would like to save. Let's begin. Japanese is a complex language made up of three separate writing systems. The three sets are hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Hiragana is the most basic set and is the most commonly used in everyday life. Hiragana characters are used to form most sentences. That said, you don't actually need to learn hiragana before learning the other sets. 
However, it is required to learn in order to get a full understanding of written and spoken Japanese, but we won't be covering hiragana in our lessons, only katakana. Here's a sneaky tip. Check out the previous title in, the, in this game series, Learn Japanese to Survive Hiragana Battle, to be introduced to the Hiragana character set. You can look for it online through Steam. While it's important to learn Hiragana, you won't need, need it for this game. We'll provide translations alongside any Hiragana text that appears. The focus is all on Katakana. The second set of Japanese characters is Katakana. The good stuff we'll be learning in these lessons. Katakana is main, used mainly to write words and names that are that have a foreign origin. These are words that the Japanese have adapted from English and other languages. You might think this isn't very useful, but in fact it's the opposite. Knowing how to read katakana is incredibly useful and re rewarding. A good example of using katakana is looking at a Japanese menu in a restaurant. Your favorite dish may be written in katakana, and you'll know what to order immediately. And you'll see katakana everywhere in Japan, on signs and products, and TV and movies, and comics and magazines. It's ap it absolutely must be learned for a full mastery of Japanese. That said, usage of katakana is limited to specific words and phrases and sentences. Sentences are written in hiragana, and katakana is used sparingly within it. Here's an example. Uh, let's see, that second... Alright, so the, the, the first... The, the highlighted letters are in katakana. Um, then it says... Uh, it's like, ga... Garuri... Gallery Hosuka. So that translates into Do you have coffee? I might write this down just to make sure I didn't mess that up. Where's my papers? We'll use this paper. That's a paper. Just making sure I did that right. Of course, I think I just ran out of lead on this pencil. Give me a moment. Actually. Running out of time, it looks like, but that's all right. I'll try uh, this one. Oops, sorry, I breathed into the mic there. All right, so slide this up, slide this down. So I'll try my best to kind of remember, uh, do the the hiragana since obviously I, sh I need to know it. So that's dakaden of ka, which is ga, followed by another a. And then a re, or re, uh, then ho. Oh wait, that, no, that's not ho. That is ma. And then su, ka. So, gar, garri masuka. So, it, I guess the sentence would be, coffee. Gari Masuka. Do you have coffee? The text written in yellow is katakana, the rest is hiragana. This is because the word for coffee, kohi, is borrowed from another language. You pronounce it kohi. It sounds similar to the word coffee, right? This is normal for words written in katakana. So I think now, one thing I, I might have done wrong for the um, the the hiragana is I, th I there might be something where if you have vowels together it may change things, but I don't really remember too much about that unfortunately, because that's not that's something different from combo hiragana I think. Sins like the uh, like above are very common, so without knowing katakana you couldn't read it. Finally, the last set of Japanese characters is kanji. Kanji are intricate picture symbols and borrowed from the Jap Chinese language. We won't be touching kanji at all, but just know that some words can be written entirely in kanji. However, it's rare to, s to write full sentences in kanji. Phew. Now that we've covered the three different writing sets, we can dive right into learning katakana. Just when my cat jumps on my desk. Alright, looks like we're doing our first lesson. Kitty Cat, I know you're adorable, but I got to learn some stuff. Welcome to the to your first katakana lesson. During this these lessons, I'll show one second. Okay. During these lessons, I'll show you how to read, write, and pronounce each katakana character. I recommend keeping a pen and paper and some paper handy so you can practice writing each character. I will not be writing the characters. 
It might sound tedious, but learning to correctly write katakana helps with visual recognition. It'll make you familiar with each character so much quicker. I'm going to introduce you to five different letter, uh, different written characters. Here's what they look like. I'll take you through them one by one, so don't panic. That's A E U A N O. If you're familiar with hiragana, you'll notice that katakana have a different style. Uh, they have lots of straight lines and sharp angles. The five characters above are the building blocks of the katakana set. Each character represents a vowel in English, a, e, u, a, and o in that specific order. Time to tackle the first one. This is a or a. It's, a, it's the equivalent of the vowel uh, a in English. You pronounce this as a like in the word uh, arc. Uh, so yeah, the, the um, looks like the verbal audio is a lot better quality in this game, which is very nice. So hopefully you guys can actually hear it this time. Let's practice writing it. Watch the following animation. So yeah, um, Hiragana tends to have a lot of curves to it, um, but these actually have a lot of a lot more straight edges. Um, that being said, as far as I can tell, besides the uh, it's not Dakotan, but the other mark, the one that has the circle in it, that's besides that little mark, that little circle mark, uh, there are no circles apparently in the Japanese language. So the closest thing they'll do is they'll use like squares or something. This character is made with two pin strokes. The first stroke is the top line, then it comes down at an angle in the same stroke. The second stroke starts vertical, then curves. E. This is E or E. It's the equivalent of the vowel I in English. You pronounce this as E, like in the word easy. Uh, I think the mnemonic for this is like, it. it you, get, you think eagle. Because it kind of looks like, a, I guess, a bird. E. Let's practice writing it. Alright. So, usual steps, just very much like the previous game. It will go over the writing. Uh, the first stroke is tilted, but the second is straight. U. This is U, or U. It's the equivalent of the vowel uh, U in English. You pronounce this as U, like in the word ooze. Uh, so this kind of looks like uh, U, but it has that little part that's connected at the top. Or when I say you, it looks like it, lo it looks like the hiragana u. The order of the strokes is important to remember. Only the final stroke has a curve. E. This is e or e. It's the equivalent of the vowel e in English. You pronounce this as e, like in the word exit. Um, this is that uh, that letter I symbol is actually also the kanji word for or the kanji symbol for construction, and so the mnemonic that was been that's been mentioned is it looks like one of those I beam things that you use whenever making buildings and things like that, and so you would end up th thinking that engineers work on that, so be E. So for me, since I already know the kanji symbol, it, essentially I just think construction and remember engineers and the, and engineer starts with E. Let's practice writing. Pretty much is the letter I there. Super easy. Just remember the top line is shorter than the bottom line. Yeah, I think that's the only difference. I think the kanji symbol is actually has equal width, uh, equal sizes, top and bottom. All right, continue lesson. O. This is O or O. It's the equivalent of the vowel O in English. You pronounce this as O, like in the word open. Uh, the mnemonic for this one is kind of weird. It's like a flat... They, they, they say, think of a flashing man, and you're thinking, oh no. Oh. The vertical stroke has a tail made as your pen is lifted from the page. One thing I have noticed is, it, uh, noticed is this only draws it once. It doesn't draw it twice, which is good because it saves time. Congratulations, you've learned the first five char katakana characters. These form the basic vowels of the katakana system. Think of them as the equivalents of English, A, E, U, A, and O, respectively. Since we finished our first lesson, would you like to save your progress so far? Alright, obtain study guide one, just like in the previous games. Um, so yeah, on the as far, on the website that I was I learned hiragana from, uh, for katakana, they actually dove right into just teaching you 10 symbols at a time. Uh, simply because they already knew the, that you have done the process for hiragana 
Uh, so this one, they might take a little slower, which will probably be good for me, because like I said, I'm not as prepared for Katakana. Hey, I got an achievement. I like to buy a Val. Now that the, the lesson is finished, let's have a short quiz to test what you've learned. Question one, what is this character? That's Ah. Uh. Yay. Yeah, that's it. What is this character? That is Ooh. What is this character? That is O. What is the uh, what is the character of the vowel E? Uh, that would be this one. And question uh, the last one is the vowel uh, the vowel for I or E, which is this one. Yeah, that's it. Hey, you did it! You answered all the questions. Give yourself a pat on the back because you are well on your way to mastering Katakana. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Also, I just noticed it says Katakana on the board on the the blackboard over there, which uh, yeah, I guess those are the symbols for it. <laughs> I know I can recognize Ka, but I don't I don't I don't really know the other symbols. The other thing that might throw me off is a lot of these symbols actually look very similar to kanji symbols, uh, so that is going to probably drive me crazy. So uh, we got that to deal with as well. You've earned a well-deserved break. Have an explosion. What on earth was that? We need to check it out. Tutorial menu. Hit the escape key on your keyboard to access the menu, view st character stats, equipment, skills, and save your game, or right-click on your mouse to access. Save your game regu regularly, and the menu use the arrow keys and enter key to select the save command on the left, or just click the save command. Check out the noise, walk through the door below. This is a lot more tutorial friendly, I guess. Okay, so it's us. Let's just talk to these people. Go check out that noise, don't worry, I'll back you up. That was such a loud noise! Did the Katakana monsters get into the school? Yeesh, this city can't catch a break. But bad guys. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is it's been over 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. And uh, when we come back, we will try to learn more Katakana stuff and probably get introduced to the combat system. So, I am the Depressed Dior, and this was Learn Japanese to Survive Katakana War. And uh, sayonara.